Hello everybody. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 9, this verse really gives some, some encouragement for me personally when I know a lot of times when I think about what it takes or what do I have to do to get that all that Jesus has to offer me and, and the greatest thing that he can give us is his righteousness. It's when he credits us with his grace for what he did for us through living and dying and resurrecting and gives all that to us and then just takes all of our mistakes, death and and sin. What what can I do? And sometimes you feel like what you're doing is not equal to the gift that you're getting. And all that we simply need to do is to believe. When you read in Philippians 3:9 it says, "And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. That is the righteousness which is of God by faith. It comes from God. And the only thing and the only way that I can receive it, the vehicle that gets it from him to me, is when I believe. When I reckon myself redeemed. When I believe that I have been given what he's promised to give me. It doesn't say feeling, it says faith. It doesn't say my works. In fact, it actually throws away my works because it says not mine own righteousness, which is of the law and keeping the law. That's not what makes me righteous. What makes me righteous is what Jesus did for me. And it becomes mine when I accept it, when I credit and say, yep, I want that. That counts for me. And I have to believe that. And when I do though, it's done. I'm credited with all that Jesus did. And that's amazing when you think about what he did and how he lived. It can be ours. The record is ours. And from that moment, the experience will grow and grow and grow. I want to encourage us today to remember that, that it is by faith, not by feeling. It is by faith and not by your work, but by the work that he's done I believe that that's counted towards me. I start to smile a little bit. I start to feel a bit more positive. I feel more optimistic about life because now I know it's not based on what I can do. It's based on what he has done. And from then on, what he's going to do through me. So be encouraged, y'all. And let's start talking like we're believing. And if we're not talking like that, maybe that's an indicator. We need to go back to the basics and remember, not by feeling, but by faith in Jesus Christ. So until next time, please remember that change is good.